Simultaneous equations are when you've got two equations, like these two here, that you have to solve simultaneously or at the same time. So we're going to go through a method. I'm just going to pop these equations up here to make a bit of room, and I'm going to label them A and B so we know which one we're referring to. OK, so our method is going to be down here. And the first thing to do is to rearrange both equations into AX plus BY equals C. Now, all this means is that you start with your X term, then you have your Y term, and you have it equal to a number term. And it's important that both equations are in the same form. So you always have your x's over your x's, your y's over your y's, and your numbers over your numbers. Number two, multiply one or both equations so that the numbers in front of x or y are the same. So with this equation, we could either multiply it by three, so we get a three here, and we've got a three there, or we could multiply it by two. So we've got two there and a two there. So I always multiply by the smallest number I can, so I'm going to multiply it by two. So we have to multiply all of this by two. So this becomes 2x minus y becomes minus 2y and 5 becomes 10. So that's our new equation. Right, now for the clever bit. We have to add or subtract the equations. So if we add this equation onto this equation, what happens to the y's? Well, we'll get plus 2y plus minus 2y. So we'll get 0y. So we'll get rid of the y's, which is what we want to do. So let's do it. We're going to have 3x plus 2x. So we're going to get 5x. And the y's will disappear. And then 10 plus 10 equals 20. So the y's have been eliminated. And that's why they call it the elimination method. OK, now we have to solve the new equation. So this is a lot easier to solve. 5x equals 20, so x equals 4. So we're halfway there. We know what x equals, but now we have to find out what y equals. So we put this value, x equals 4, into one of the original equations to find the other variable, so to find out what y equals. So let's put this value of x into equation A, so this one here. So 3x, well that's going to be 3 times 4 is 12. And then the rest of the equation stays the same. And then we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. And then we're going to divide by 2. y equals minus 1. So we've solved the simultaneous equations, or at least we think we have. It's always best to check by putting both values into the other equation to check it all works. So the other equation was b. So let's go back to our original equation b, x minus y equals 5. So we've got 4 minus y is minus 1. So it's minus minus 1 equals 5. Well, minus minus is a plus. 4 plus 1 equals 5. So we were right with our uh, solutions. OK, so that's simultaneous equations. If you follow this method, you shouldn't go too far wrong.